In this video, we'll take a look at a couple different workflows for producing drawings from your part or assembly in SOLIDWORKS. The first of which is when you have your model already open in SOLIDWORKS, we can go up to the File menu and choose Make Drawing From Part. Clicking this is going to prompt us to choose our template. In this case, I'm going to choose the template I've created here and click OK. Then you'll be brought over to the SOLIDWORKS drawing environment and this view palette on the right side of the screen will auto populate with the different standard views. We can then just click and drag the view we're interested in onto the drawing sheet and let go to place it. Wherever we move our mouse cursor, we can auto project views to different sides. So I can do a right side view here and you can continue projecting them. But when you're done, you can either click the check mark or hit escape on the keyboard to get out of the projected view command. So that's a workflow when you already have the part model open. Let's take a look at how you could create a drawing from scratch. So from a blank screen in SOLIDWORKS, you could click the new document icon and choose a drawing template. This will create a blank drawing for us. Then I'll click OK. Since we don't have any model loaded currently, I need to somehow load in my first view. So I could still do this through the view palette but it would require browsing out for the component. You can activate the view palette by clicking the little drawing icon here, and you'll see in the pull-down menu any files that are actively loaded. I don't have one here, so I'll have to click the little three dots to browse out for it. Then once I select that part, it will load in with the additional views, and then we can proceed like as before. If these views ever go out of date, you may just need to click the refresh button to update them. So again, as before, I can drag in and place my views. Let's take a look at an alternate way. I'm going to go ahead and delete these views. And the other tool we could have used is the model view tool. This is used often when you don't have an initial drawing view. So if we click on model view, it'll show me any parts that are currently loaded in SOLIDWORKS. Again, if you didn't have one open, you would just click browse down here to browse out for it. And then we can click the next arrow and choose the default view we want to place, such as our front, right, or top view. Now, as I move the mouse cursor around, you may or may not get a graphical preview here. If you have the preview box checked, you'll see a actual representation of the model. If that's unchecked, then you'll just see this kind of bounding rectangle. So generally, I like to turn that on. And then once again, when we click to place the view, we can auto project off additional views and hit escape when we're done. The last method I wanted to show is if you are expecting to want to place a front top and right view, you can do that in one swoop using the standard three view option. So by clicking the standard three view, it functions similarly to model view where it expects us to browse out for the file that we want to insert. And it just automatically places front top and right view for us. You can also embed standard three view into your drawing template to auto populate each new drawing with these views. It's important to note that another useful function of the model view tool is that you can use it to insert additional models onto the drawing. For instance, if I want to have a representation of the assembly that this part is used in, I can use the model view tool and browse out for the subassembly that the part is used in, and then place a reference view of this subassembly. So you don't necessarily have to have just one model on the SOLIDWORKS drawing. You can have multiple different models that may represent things like tools or fixtures or the assembled state of the model. Hopefully this video was helpful and stay tuned for more drawings tips.